What year were you born, father-in-law? 1947. That was Shut a good up. year. That means you were 22 when we landed on the moon. <laughs> I think so. Lit! <laughs> Lit! Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people who make it, including these guys. I'm Josh, and this is a very special uh, interview for me. Unfortunately, it's only two-fifths of the band, but uh, they just played the Double Down Saloon on the 23rd and uh, done some acoustic shows at the Dive Bar. Got a few shows coming up here. Please welcome to the show, The Cheeks. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Real quick, tell them what you do in the band and who you are. Uh, my name's Heidi, and I'm the degenerate of the band, the director of being annoying. I play the kazoo, and I sing some songs sometimes. Mostly I just yell and cry about stuff, but... My name's Yan, Y-A-N. I play guitar. Uh, Heidi, I just want to say, has been the best band leader I've ever been in a band with. What do you want from me, and how much Nothing. does it cost? <laughs> I want to get that out of the way. <laughs> so happy to be in the Cheeks. Colin, our bass player, Yuri, our horn player, Shay Day, our drummer, the most handsome one in the band. We, got a great we band. couldn't have him come on because A, he's already been on, and that video got a lot of yeah. views and likes. Two fifths of, of our members yeah. have already been on too. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're like a uh, Vegas super band. I so guess. Some of you may remember uh, Shay was, is also, he's been on with uh, Scotty Dub and the Jellyfish, where we had an earthquake in Las Vegas. It was oh. hilarious. Um, <laughs> by hilarious, I mean scary. Mm -hmm. but, um, if you like earthquakes, like this video. Yeah. It was, There's it, more where that came from. It was certainly surprising. And speaking of surprises, um, I have something for you guys. No, listen. Uh -oh. what, what, what? I got something for you too. Give it to him. Okay. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Okay, give me your hand. Oh no. Why is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it biting me? Okay, and open your eyes. And open the thing. It's a no. Oh my. It's a love note. Don't tell my wife. It's a, oh, it's a hard it is. Oh, sorry. Anti-love. Nice. Room number six is the tits. Yes. You heard it here first, baby. And anti-love uh, is the name of our new song that uh, is really fucking badass. Not so. worth checking out. Don't yeah. look it up. Don't like this video if you hate music. But you said you had a present for us too. Don't you fall out on your I part of the party? I do. I do. Um, it's. Um, hey, you want to see a magic trick? Sure. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, what? Dude. Thank Yo! you so much. These dude. are the best shirts wow. ever. Oh no my problem. god. Wow. wow. You look great. How do I look? Uh, nice. Yay. Wow. I even, I even modified them for wow, you. Wow, thanks. You knew thanks. exactly how I would want it. You're a wizard, aren't you? Wow. If you want to get some merch like this, uh, unmodified, you can get these and you can get this. Hey! The banger. And this, and even this, at room6.shop. Shameless plug out of the way. But um, if you like shameless plug, like this video. Yep. Right? Um, <clears throat> number one, when's your next gig? Our next gig. Um, so May 7th, Dive Bar. No. Yep, we'll probably play around. 11, 11.30 or so, and I'm actually not too sure the other bands on the lineup, but as soon as we know, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, we'll be posting updates and flyers and right. plenty and of that good stuff. I'm not sure when this video will post, it may be after May 7th, if that's the case, I'll make sure to, you know, post something about uh, when the next gig is. Uh, incidentally, I think you're also being in a movie? Yes, uh, May 15th, we were asked to be the band that plays at a pool party of um, of a movie that's being shot out here. And uh, there's going to be a lot of DJs. There's going to be another band that I, again, all of this information will be on our Facebook. It's kind of new details to us. Um, but it's $20 RSVP or $40 at the door. Um, or you can, if you're weird and you come and do this with us often, then... Um, we might just put you on the guest list depending on the limit because we know we have a lot of friends. So, I want another shot too. Yeah, Josh, you know us very well. So, let me ask you some questions now, Josh. I'm just kidding. Um, 
Okay, Josh. Don't read the questions ahead of time. What's your favorite color? Black. Oh. Black Whoa, is. That's, not that's a, a color. Really, that's not a color though. It's a shade. Ugh. He's hitting me. Did you see that? No, I'm hitting Ollie. I'm, I'm hitting. calling Peta. 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 Wow. Thank, thank you. you. Cool. Now I can officially say, welcome. To run six. To this run is definitely six. the first shot we've done and the first time we've ever done this yeah. take. Totally. Mm. <sighs> Sorry for the um, headphone users if that audio is a little loud. So. I'm not. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. My fault. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Right. It helps me think. Let me tell you. I know controlling it. This what is, is the this? thing. I may, do you remember when he was commenting on what a good band leader I am? Yeah. It's like, it's because I it's have no ice. idea what's I going on lie, all yeah. the time. Like, he'll be like, I don't know. They were out of confetti cannons. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And so we play the show. True I start here. I start hearing confetti cannons. Boom, boom, and boom, I'm boom. like, oh my God, he lied. And then after the show, the guy cleaning up was so mad. Wait, and he goes, where was this? Uh, double double down. down. Yeah. And, uh, he's a friend of mine, though. Um, he said we can't play but anymore. But he goes, no, he didn't. He did say he, that. And he was mad. But listen. Well, can you blame him? He, <laughs> he's like, come on, you know, I, you should have told me. And I was like, do you think I have any idea what's going on? <laughs> like, behind me? Hopefully bold um, you to assume I'm I have like, control uh, of the situation. Yeah, I have no control. If anything, I have the least say or control over shit like that at all. all right. But I fully support it. I don't want that. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm taking these away from you. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Okay, what's the next question? I know the answer's gonna be four. Go ahead, go. Watch, it's gonna be four. Young lady. Yes. You used to live in Lakeside, California. You are correct. Lakeside. Four times. I knew it. I, s I spent eight years all over the San Diego uh, County, actually. Oh, I love East County. I used to live in Ocean Beach and uh, really? El, El Cajon. El Cajon. Good and, old El Cajon. And of course, college area. Yeah. Oh, God. It's yes. one of the few, t few places I've lived where the college area is called college area. Like, mm -hmm. there's a sign. So, literally, that's, yeah. <laughs> the thing I loved about San Diego is 15 minutes, you're in a different climate. There's the right. ocean, there's the desert, there's mm -hmm. the mountains. Um, did you go to a lot of shows out there before moving to Vegas? So, um, I actually grew up out here. And um, I moved there for a couple of years, um, and I had never been there before. I moved there on a whim. I didn't know anyone, um, and I just, to make friends, just started going places by myself. So I spent a lot of time at Tower Bar. I spent a lot of time at um, the Casbah. Oh, the Casbah. Yeah. The Casbah? Mm -hmm. Yep. I spent a lot of Did time. Did they play that song there? At like uh, Brick by Brick. Rock! The Casbah. No, it's all oh. rad punk bands, and I could probably. Is that how the band. song goes, by the way? Punk. Like messing that song punk up. Punk bands. I remember I saw Utah 66 there, but that was probably before your time because okay. I am older than you. I mean, the shows that I saw there how old are you? all the time. How old are you? I'm 36. How old are you? No, sorry. Don't ask. I am 28 and feeling great. I'm older than both of you, but not older than both of you combined. I was born in 1984. I'm, just kidding, I'm 48. Okay. You don't look a day over 27. <laughs> nice. That would make you 73. Oh, Dog years. No, 1973. Oh no, 72. July. 72. Yep. So July will be 49, and then after that will be 50 with a 15 year old. Wow. Anyway, what was World War II like? That's Kim, my father-in-law. <laughs> I wasn't there. I what year were you born, father-in-law? 1947. That was Shut a good up. year. That means you were 22 when we landed on the moon. <laughs> I didn't go. Lit. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> he said, no, I wanted to stay here for nice. that. All right, getting back to my job. Okay, okay. Whose idea was it to sneak into that show last Sunday? Mine. <laughs> yeah, shocker. Shocker. What so the hell did you just go through my drawers? Why don't you? So we get there just to go support Los Atascados. And here's the thing. We are like a like a pretty broke band. And it's like, you know, they've been super supportive to us. Mm -hmm. So I uh, True. wanted to show up and support. Tommy, can we shout but, him out? Yeah, Tommy from Good Girl From Records. Thank you so much He's for just best. being just a sparkling gem on a black sand beach. Um, but we go and we just want to support 
because he's done so much for us and, and they're good friends of ours. But we don't have twenty five dollars a person to go to the show. Yeah. By the way, yeah. can we call but, that out? Can wait, we call wait, that wait, out? Wait, can we call was, that out? Where was that? Sahara Event Center, but Okay, it's it really there. cool because there was lots of vendors selling art. It wasn't just a show. It should be and free art if it's twenty five dollars to get in. It's Jeez. such a beautiful historic event. So we get there and the plan was it's me and Colin. Uh, and our plan was let's just go for a little bit and uh, support, you know. And Tommy's like, I'll have my RV. We can just hang out in the parking lot. Nice. And it ends up with us being there like ten hours. I skanked. All night long, I literally like had so much fun. We danced all night long. And I literally told Tom, I was like, I'm gonna sneak into the show. And he's like, I don't know if it's gonna work. And I walked right up and the lady goes, are you in a band? Are you in one of the bands? And I was like, yeah. And then Colin goes, I play, you know, the conga. And she just looks us dead in the eyes and, and just pauses for care. a second and goes, all right, here's your bands, wristbands. You guys have a great show tonight. And we were like, Kate, okay, thanks. It was just, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to take a moment. We gotta do this as a thumbnail, please. Just just face the camera where you think the camera is, right there. Where I think it is. <clears throat> I can see perfect right now. This close me see. Great. Are you just, kidding? Just there. Uh, thumbnail time. I've never saw better in my life. Freeze. Hi, look at the camera you. and freeze. Hi. Dave. Look, look at the camera and freeze, damn you. There it is. It's Weird. a gif. <gasps> it's a gif. <laughs> you want to eat hot? It's really good. I don't want any. I'm over I'm it. I'm good. I don't want any. Okay, so move on. Next question. It makes you less. <laughs> makes you less drunk. I'm not drunk. Me neither. <laughs> so, Ryan, I can't wait to drive home safe. I'm listening. I'm hanging on every word. Are you still with Ministry of Love? Stop being a thing. Okay, guess not. Are you still going by the alias the White Howard? Whoa, no. I, that's a new one! Not one. What? Yes. Please explain, what is the White Howard? Okay. I am a legit, this is a purple and gold 24, 12 year old tattoo. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. I'm a legit Laker fan, born in Los Angeles. And uh, for a while we had a player named Dwight Howard. And when I would play basketball during the same year, I'm a white guy, oh. and they would call me the White Howard, which sounds like the White Howard, uh, the White Howard, it, it and that's the it source of the nickname. I grew up a Lakers fan, and it didn't click until you said that. I let me put this way: I'm a Lakers fan, as in Rambus. Kurt Rambus, of course. <laughs> Just throw the elbows. Oh. Oh. Kurt Rambis, you did not boys. try. Boys! Showtime! Yeah. Showtime! Down, boys! Yes. 80s Lakers! Yeah, but... Magic Johnson! I can't watch basketball anymore because it's just... Dennis Rodman! It's just... 90s. <laughs> 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 He's not even on the Lakers lap. Patrick Swayze. Okay, question for you. Are you still the best kisser that ever lived? I'm the best kisser, the best fucker, and the best guitar player in Las Vegas. <laughs> Without a doubt. Ooh, that last one. Hold on. One. Hey, I just figured out how to use this as a lie detector. Every time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying. <laughs> Hold on, say that again, Ryan. I'm the best guitar player. Eh. <laughs> I'm the second best guitar player. Eh. I'm a guitar player. <laughs> the Cheeks are the best band. Eh. Ooh. The Cheeks are the second best band. Eh. The Cheeks are the fucking miracle band of the world. That's weird, it should have made a noise. Oh. Well, I guess it must be true. I guess it then. must be true. <laughs> last, room six. Last question. So rad. Eh, room six, too rad. It's too rad that we know the truth. Okay, I'll, I'll, try, I'll, try, I'll try to turn One more time, turn the dial. What is going Okay, anyways, Josh, go yeah, on. Yeah, okay, continue. I don't even know where to go from there. Um, uh, oh, one more question for you. Uh, Before we get to band uh, questions, yes. Or, no, I'm going out. Did your dad ever get paid for inventing the question mark? How do you know this? He's the, <laughs> oh my god! He's the <laughs> non-work interviewers. Yeah, my dad invented the question mark. A lot of people don't know that, but back in the day, people would be like, where do you want to go for dinner? And they wouldn't know like what it would mean. Because sometimes you could... Okay, let me give you a more obvious example. Are you ready? Like... Are you wearing that? 
I don't know, Josh. With a period, with a period, you don't know. Are you wearing that? And my dad invented the question mark, so now I know you're like, are you wearing that? And now you know. Good talk. Uh huh. Cool guy, that dad. Um. All right, let's just. I have no response to that. Yeah. So anyway. It's <laughs> an interesting one. Oh, it is too loud. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, these are my more usual interview questions. And to answer your question, you ever see hot ones? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hot ones. I also have a team of highly skilled diggers. I'd like to dive deep into So tell me more about me then. No, oh, I'm no. curious. Yeah. You only asked me if I lived in Lakeside for two yeah. years. Well, you checked in all over Lakeside and all over Vegas. Like, eh. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I thought you'd be impressed that I knew about alcohol. I, I'm very <laughs> impressed, actually. And the ta actually, the Tower Bar. It, um, you didn't check in at the Casbah, though. Uh, yeah, because I was fucked up that night. Let me tell but, you. I got uh, there just on a whim. Like, I wasn't answer, even supposed to go that To answer night. your question, the answer is Facebook. Facebook. It's, okay. in your, it's in your details about running. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know about that. People shit. forget. People forget. So I get I get that Sean Evans Hot Ones little like, how do you know about that moment every so often? And, and you're like, you told the world. <laughs> you literally different. posted it on your public Facebook. Yeah. I, I didn't feel right. I couldn't I couldn't hold back from you people. Um, how first question, how long have you been in Las Vegas? Uh since 1991. Where'd you move from, if I may ask? Los Angeles. Which bar? San Dimas. Okay, because Anybody who knows LA knows it's not LA. It's some part. Yeah. <laughs> you Do know? you know Raging Waters? Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure. I know Atari. Let me put it this way. Motley Crue. Let me put it this way. I call it San Bernardino. San Bernardino. Yes. I call it San Bernardino. That's where Ryan's from. Just Heidi is an awesome sparkling gem who created the Cheeks, the greatest new band in Vegas, my favorite band. And I honestly just kind of think that I am uh, an L.A. guy that moved to Vegas, fell in love with Vegas, met Heidi. Heidi created an incredible band, and I brought this Southern California thing to it. That and technically, lit, I'm my that lit the fuse. To be fair, fuse. she's Southern California too. You are. You are. That's why we're the coolest ones in the yeah. band. So when, the did you, ones when did you move to L.A.? I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Las Vegas, wow. So I moved to San Diego in 2018. Oh, so you're fairly recent. And then I moved back to Vegas in 2020. Oh, um, oh I'm but, sorry. So you yeah, okay. but I was, so I moved to Vegas when I was six months old. Ah. After the Rodney ah. King riots, yeah. my parents oh. were in a really. very bad area, and they, it was not safe being a family with, and a, a, a Caucasian family where they were living yeah. in a project housing area with two very small children, a two a two right. year old and a um, six month old baby at the time. That's when they left and came here. My father was a Emmy award winning audio technician. So back at back in L.A. at the time, he was doing his thing out there. And then uh, he had a star over here, huh? Yeah, and he ended had up, his he dad ended up won an Emmy, an Emmy yeah. for the I think it was two thousand eleven. Uh, HBO for boxing, I believe. They're for boxing. I've never heard of a boxing show getting an Emmy. That's like for, he, for, audio. for audio. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Good on you, Dad. Yeah. And worked on the Super Bowl halftime show for yeah. the Who. For the Who. Um, yeah. He worked on the Olympics. He worked on Olympics. I, I want to say it was two thousand twelve. Could that was be in, wrong. Was that in? No, that worked. And made one of the best bagel sandwiches. <laughs> no, he loved. He okay. liked beer and, so, and smoking weed. Uh, yeah. That's all he told you about. Yeah. But. That's right. Um, so, how long have you been the Sheiks? Uh, not even a year. We're a pandemic Since, band. So we started. I, I started that. putting my feelers out because really I was just over writing songs and playing the piano and singing at the same time. A, it's hard, and B, I don't play that great piano. I can play basic chords, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm not a great piano player, and it's hard to do both. So I just got tired of doing it alone, and I put my feelers out, and I got really lucky just the first people that I asked. It just, yep. I can't even explain it, you know? Like, it just, 
I've come to find out, this is my first band that I've ever started, so I've come to find out that this does not happen to other people. No. This doesn't happen where you start, you, hey, do you want to come jam? And it just works with almost everybody. Especially we, original music. Yeah, we've replaced it, we've replaced a drummer, um, but other than that, it's been the same members, and we just... Uh, 100%. And let's say, let's say you're watching this right now. And maybe you're thinking the same thing as Heidi was not too long ago. Okay, you're watching this right now, and maybe, oh sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and you want to start a band. It does really seem like an impossible mountain to climb. It's really the easiest, it, it, this has been, it's scary, like you said, mm -hmm. it is scary. But it really has been effortless compared to what other people have, have warned me about. Or pe other people in bands. Oh, you know, scheduling and all this. I'm like, everything has been extremely effortless and easy. The the hard part for me is the emotions that run with it, like with oh, writing and yeah. performing. For me personally, it feels great every time. That's the hardest part for all of this. Everything else, having a band, the boys are fucking great. Like they're literally the family that I haven't had in a I long can't time. Found and, each uh, other, right? It's yeah. like almost. A miracle. I'm thinking you know? about it right now as you're saying it, like Colin, we wouldn't be anything without him. Oh, and Colin's amazing. The only one that I've known longer than any member of my band is Colin. I've known Colin about six, six years. years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Ryan and I, I had met Yuri one time. I met Ryan on, I believe, we matched on Facebook dating. The first time <laughs> I met Ryan. And I found out that my roommate at the time knew him but the first thing he did was go really polite and nice say hey and i've never ever once actually met a guy from any dating app ever like i've never actually you gone out and make it like successful so the first thing he does is go hey there's this party do you want to come with me it's on fourth of july and i was like I don't just meet people that I don't know. Like, I was super Tell him the rude. truth. I was like, you're going to suck my dick. No, 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 no. Oh, he wasn't at all. He was so polite. He was so respectful. And I read it and went. Make me sound good, though. No. <laughs> Make me sound cool. Oh. No. So I literally okay. was, like, not interested. Yuri I met one time at an event that he was not happy at, and I thought he hated me. That's my horn, my horn player. So it was all kind of a... It, no one else knew each other either, you right. know, like it was just, it just happened. It's Dude, <laughs> enough. Okay. The mic's right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're clacking a lot. It sounds epic. Sure. Okay, so. so um, next question, if you don't mind. Yeah. Go moving on. on. Yeah, moving on. In the interest of time, I hate, I hate that, some of that, that shit. shit. Peel me a piece of that shit. I love how you're using the peeler like not, Abra like Abraham, not the way it was intended at like all. Like Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> well, he knows better than to give you a knife, I guess. So. Peel me more. Yeah, I'm dangerous. Um, you're so, killing. we're listening. For the record, these cool, you know, musicians, mm -hmm. there's like sugar over there, and they're eating a goddamn apple out of my bowl. Well, sugar? We need fiber. You didn't say well, sugar. Well, number one, I'm being right Give me banana and sugar. There's a body, there's a body <laughs> left over from uh, the Easter. Anyway. What? Really? Where? We need more fiber. Rule number one of being a rock so, star. Eat much more fiber. Honestly, it's true. Especially if you're on the road, it's so tempting. It's, really it's so easy to hit drive throughs and stuff. But you you got to, at least once in a once in a while, a have a V8 or something. Yeah, V8. I, I, I actually have a V12. At, at work, at my day job, I have V8 because every now and then, you're like, I want... Fast food. You have a day job? I have a day What's job. Day job? You are a rock star. Well, stripping? You are, but yes. stripper. Like me, I have a day job yes, too. Yes, my day job is stripping. Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. No. Ooh, where? Look, he has a whole chocolate bunny. Let me see. Yeah, I knew she was going to do that. Oh, guys. Okay. Mm. Oh, no, 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 thank you. I'm good. No. Thank you. Anyway. That's probably gonna be the thumbnail of me going, no! <laughs> Next question. When did I lose control of the city? No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, I'm like, like, you know, little Josh won the competition, right? Mm hmm. How do you feel about that, Josh? Anywho. How it feel would be if you're not first or last? Anyway, oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'll stop drinking my whiskey and have a drink of whiskey. Shot of whiskey. Um, whiskey? It's like crimson rye all over again. 
literally, like I bought a bottle of Jameson for them because I know, you know, they love their Jameson. I went through that a bottle of that with um, Leaving Springfield. Mm -hmm. That was we were all drinking it. Chris and I was shot. Okay, and we yeah. we emptied the bottle between. The How many of us. they are they the record? Oh God, please! Don't. No, we're not doing this. Dude, a, we have band it, practice because I do want to show up a, and punk them because it's a cool Thursday. Stuff. It's a school night. What's the record? I gotta get up at six. What's the record? Kids to school. What's the record? For what? What's the record? For what? For what? <laughs> I don't know. Drunkest, <laughs> most shots. We're no, you. We're you win. We're yeah. shattering it all. Yeah, Has anyone done a fucking don't shot do it, right? out it's of the bunny? Don't. Hold on. No, it should be fine. Lost it fairly quick. I to the cheeks. Do I have control on, over this on the, dog? On, the, on the rock star little checklist, that's a new one. Add that. Shot yeah, out of a it's really delicious. Shot out of you chocolate want to bunny's it. ass. <laughs> it's really delicious. If you're in that game. I don't want it. And okay. Question. Uh-huh, we're listening. All ears like a bunny. It's been a while since I had a live interview. I apologize if I'm out of practice. <sighs> okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you? Stay. Stop. Uh, yeah, Stop. Stay. 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 Okay. So. Great. What was my question? Oh, yeah. Something about it. How long have you been doing music individually? Uh, since I was 15 years old. And since I'm 41, that means you I've been doing like it. Rug. I've been doing it for 21 years. Now, I've been. 21 years I've been playing guitar. 20 years! Um, what did you start out at? Uh, playing guitar? Yeah. I, you know what? If we're gonna really get into the story, because no one ever starts playing guitar, it's we're gonna really like... get into the story. Um, a fifteen-year-old freshman. Okay. My someone breaks into my house, oh. kills my mom and dad. I became an orphan for like my last three years of high school. And guitar was like a saving grace. And as soon as I turned 18, I hit the road on tour and I was doing merch for Ministry of Love. And I secretly wanted to be in that band. And as soon as they had friction with the bass player, I snaked my way into that bitch. And I took over that band and I chased my dreams. And I didn't know what I was doing. And it all fell apart. And my singer got cancer, and I came back to Las Vegas. <laughs> True. And then I asked Heidi to blow me on Facebook dating, and now here we are in the cheeks. So, when you really wait. think about my story oh, like no. that, it's whack. Dude, and, dude, your life is a freaking movie. No, and that's only partly not exaggerated. Well, There's I, I gave you a scenario. Wait, hold on, yeah. hold on. Was the first part true? Yeah. Yeah, miss it. Thank you. The last part, she says it wasn't true. No, I say <laughs> that it was highly exaggerated and manipulated. Yeah, but that's my manipulative words. Was wow. like, whoa, hot girl, so, let's go. And then we hang out and you sing good. And I go, wait, there's more than a blowjob here. She's a singer. Yeah, but whatever <laughs> happened with that blowjob, I gave you, I let you... <laughs> I let you let my room, I let my roommate out of it. I do it over there, Father. Your <laughs> roommate blew me. That's a true story. Your roommate blew me inside. I know. And I was like, no, I don't want to blow this guy. I so came here. in her ass, and her old brother's oh, taking her oh, yeah. out. Guys, guys, my yeah. father lost yeah. right What are we there. doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Mind. What are we doing? <laughs> and now that's where our old drummer lives. Oh, our God. life is crazy God. when you God. think God. about it like that. So how long have you been playing? <laughs> um, beat that. <laughs> so my story is not that interesting. Um, my father was a musician and a recording artist, and when I was growing up, music was mandatory in my house. So I started with piano lessons when I was maybe like seven, Same. piano for a few years. Um, after that, I started vocal lessons, took vocal lessons for a few years. Um, then I got bored. Um, so I wanted to, because it was mandatory, it was no longer fun in my house. So it was no longer like... Um, playing an instrument is cool. It's like you have to pick an instrument. You have to practice every day. So I did violin for three years in orchestra in middle school. First chair every single year. Um, got bored with it. No, thank you. 
And then I um, got bored with that, started learning drums later on, but never, I'm not classically trained. I knew somebody who taught, taught me a beat. Oh, over, I saw a picture of you on drums. Over time, I've actually gotten, drum. I've, I've gotten a lot better, I but I don't consider myself a drummer. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just, I play, you can drum. I dabble, I, can, I, I dabble with a lot of different things and I've always done it. Great dynamics, so, uh, totally pocket the important things of being a good drummer. Yeah. And yeah. I do uh, retain information and lesson well. I've, I've gotten a lot better over the last year jamming with the boys. He's a drummer too. Um, and then just jamming with drummers. And then Billy, Billy lives, uh, Stan, Stanley Avenue, oh, lives. A lot of he, he share a van house. So a lot of he, uh, he helps Billy lives with Felina, right? Uh, with Felina yeah. and Colin. Colin. Yeah, they all live together. Oh, and then all they live together. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, for those of you that may remember Stanley Avenue, I interviewed them here. Band house, yeah. Yep, awesome. Um, Our sister band, as we call it. Unfortunately, them. that was during, yeah, right there, Corona. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. That was definitely a Corona during Corona times, and I had it was a virtual interview. I I, I want to get them in here, but anyway, moving on. Oh, sorry, were you done? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So, moving on. We're actually winding down here. Quick question: mm -hmm. When you're rocking a real show, yeah. What are you rocking? What's your gear? Let's talk to you. Ha <laughs> ha! You want to know my the, the, gear? The drummer's not Yo. here, so, you know, it's going to be... She's got so, the, I've I never seen any gear. band do this ever. So we grabbed... The kazoo! No, yes, <laughs> that is a cool thing. Wow. I have about four of them now. Mm. What's weird is I can't find my lighter some days, but I'll pull out four kazoos out of my face. <laughs> or, or some bubbles or something, and people are like, you can't find nice. a fucking, your wallet. Wait, wait, I'll show you something. I'm going to show you something cool about this. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Please don't. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. They're not right <laughs> you, you may stop. It's okay. Real quick. I mean, are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's collapse it. Oh, it just Whoa. goes upside down. Got to collapse Ooh. it. Wow. A Spielbergian. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. You stop. All right. <laughs> so, you were saying? Um, I don't remember. If there's no bite, put it back in. Yes. Um. It's all good. It goes in the bowl. No. It goes in here. So, Cutting you off, son. No more utensils for you. What's, um... Oh, I said, um... I asked about gear. Oh, yeah, okay. So, my gear, for me, is really rad. It's this LED light cable. Like a Christmas light. And they connect to each other. And uh -huh. it's like a tube with the LEDs in it. Yeah, that's my interest, yes. Yeah. So, we just taped that shit to mm -hmm. my 50-foot mic cable. And so oh, okay. now my mic okay. cable is just an LED. I, yeah, I saw the video where you were, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Back there, but you do that all the time. That's, yeah, that's the new thing. That's the new thing. I've adopted it. It's like, You're now it's been really cool. So now I will never not do this thing. We've made it official by Gorilla Glue taping it to my cable, so. It can't get much more official than Gorilla Glue now. Yeah. yeah. How about you? What are you rocking at a show? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Before we, yeah, uh, do thing. you bring your own microphone or do you just use whatever they have? Uh, we bring our own Way gear. Um, and, uh, 58, right? SM58. Yeah. Gotta love 58. SM58. Yeah. Um, it's not mine, it's Colin's. Yeah. But hey, I'm what getting there, there, okay? I just, I, um, I got my own apartment, it's hard. Things are expensive. You guys, now I know, like, the dive bar, you don't bring your own PA. You got an angry Scotsman running your PA. Yeah, guess what? what? I don't think he's gonna be running our PA because the last time we played there, every time we played there, it's been somebody else. No, John Kirby, don't oh, watch this. Oh, is he not there anymore? <laughs> oh, John Kirby. Don't he, worry. He's like, the, <laughs> he's like one of those this. parts of playing the dive bar. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like this. I did his hair for very this. many years. I'm very familiar with really? John Kirby, yes. Um, you went and had his hair done? That tough boy? Uh, no, I went to him. But what That's I mean is... Weirder. That is weird. But I, I, <laughs> the thing about playing the dive bar is, it didn't matter who you were, He's going to tell you when he's ready for you. He's going to tell you. He'll yell at you for your settings that you like. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Yes. So, um, what are you rocking at a show? Uh, Schecter Guitars uh, and Line 6. Good and brand. I, I love Line 6 mostly because other people don't. No, no, they're, uh, you're talking pedals or amps? The whole thing. Oh, but it's the whole thing. Right Amps, cabs, pedals, everything. And everyone hates Line 6. And it's the only reason I use it. The only reason I don't use Line 6 is because I tried a Line 6, uh, one of their, like, you know, it's where you had to... It's a broom 6. Yeah. 
But uh, nine nice. Six. Line six. Whoa. Six six six. Inception. Six nine. Yes. The only reason I didn't I didn't like it is because for my what I was doing at the time with an indie rock band was I needed separate pedals. I couldn't do the to the tap dancing to like okay this song we're gonna go up to number thirty two and this song we're gonna go you know I couldn't do that. I needed to be able to be like I need distortion now and now I need chorus and now I need distortion. I'm so glad you said that because that is mega valid and I'll say it to the few guitar players who are watching. Mm -hmm. I would say that has sort of become like a common problem that has been addressed by line six pretty good colin and i with i have the new line six 2020 it hooks up to my phone what do you do with it on your phone with an playing? app but what are you doing what with it on your like while you're playing there? with those questions that you were saying like you oh you can control to... you can change exactly oh. and it is so dial inable that's, that's why I and so learn this stuff Yes. No. It was the first time for me right. too. Uh, now the line six, the line six, uh, um, pedal, uh, the newest line six, the newest line six, yep. the head has twelve knobs and they're all blank. And you go, Ooh. whoa, what the fuck? This is the what pedal. does it do? This is the pedal you're talking about, not a rack. The whole thing. It's a package. It's, oh, okay. it's a cab. It's a it's See, like, See, I'm talking like I'm talking like the two hundred dollar thing. You, you, the old school way of doing it, where you literally are like. Da, 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 da. Okay, th we're ready for the next song. This this is the same thing, but newer. Right. These all individually. The head is like five hundred bucks. The pedals like two hundred bucks. Jeez. The cab's like four hundred bucks. Okay. I got the package deal. And you said you're playing Schecter's. Schecter guitar. What, what I only do it because the used does it. Hey, Schecters are fine. They're a good brand. What about strings? Do you have a preference? Like some guitarists, they Dude, they don't care. Is that the no, song? there's no doubt. We slinky. <laughs> tell baby. the people. Tell we're, the people. No, we're, we use slinky. We're so bad. slinky. And you know what? He goes in and he goes, "Hey, can I have the pack of like?" strongest strings you have and they go that's these boy that's slinky. i'm gonna, I'm gonna bend then, them around the neck yeah no listen <laughs> and then he goes cool and he restrings his guitar and there's a song that we play called drop me that's a pretty heavy song and he breaks three strings and it's like well why aren't you using the strongest strings i fucking am using the strongest these are strings though. So, yeah so, i'm the king in, of breaking strings is, is it in drop d or what is it yeah well i kind of i'll also say that uh you'll see me why break strings a lot but, but it's not the string's fault. Are you yeah. breaking I'm, from playing or are you what, breaking from bending? What, okay, what have I been doing since this interview? Pulling shit out of this yeah. fucking drawer. It's and very annoying. Tongue? And I can't wait to yell at you on the way home. How do you think I play the guitar? Just like that. Also, that's okay. why I'm also much more patient with I'm it. I'm going to break every like, string is, ever made. Everything has been answered. It, it explains so much. That's why I like, don't think you're I like watching guitar. him and I'm like, yeah. So anyways, like, and like, these are like my babies, like my, the, 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 the boys yes. are all just Wait, equally... Wait, another shot. No. No, you're driving. We're actually finishing up. We have a, one last question. A get home safe shot. Pour it while he asks the wow. question. Wow. You're driving, right? No, Heidi's driving. Oh, okay then. A get it's home Heidi's car. A get home safe shot? <sighs> get home safe shot. You gotta shot. do it. Do Kids? what it does. Kids, don't look to musicians for your... Can I have a get home safe shot? <laughs> Will you do one with us? Yes, I mean, I'm home more. already. Get home safe shot. Yeah, we're just. This is it after this. Quite, quite seriously though, they're this gonna, is perform, gonna be they're the gonna least. After this. Yeah, we're gonna perform. There's going to be a. a Are we still out. gonna play yeah. songs? Yes. Yeah, we're gonna still yes. play. There's going to be a leveling out period. Yeah. Don't worry, I won't send them home. One like, more cigarette in the backyard, and then songs. And then we'll do some songs, okay. yeah. Let's go. May I make you the barbage? You can, but can you throw this Shut apple up. away? It's really gonna happen. My wish is gonna come true. Let's yeah, but go. you need to eat the rest of this apple because you picked this nice okay. apple oh. and you didn't finish it. So you need to eat all of it. Eat all the meat and everything. I'm so sorry about your apples. I'll cash up you some money to get some meat. I'm so embarrassed. While we're waiting for them to procure refreshments, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you're not familiar with the cheeks, it's like this all the time. This if is a not, fucking Thursday for us. If you're not familiar with room six, it's not usually like this, but I really do appreciate you watching. Um, yeah, on this channel, in case you haven't, you haven't checked out the playlist or anything, I also do whiskey reviews. Somewhere I also somewhere. do um, like this video if our, you like whiskey. I do review live shows and people's music, such as their demo, and um, 
Like this just, video if well, you hate music. Right? <laughs> you ever watch NCIS? Can I do a magic trick? You ever watch NCIS? Yeah. It's my favorite show. True Crime TV. You know Gibbs? Where? Wipe it off, baby. You know Gibbs? On um, NCIS? Gibbs? No. no. Which one is this? Oh, snap. <laughs> I love how he goes, oh, that guy. So, Look at this. What do you got? It's a guitar pick. Yes. Put your hand out. Oh no, a magic trick. Watch this. I'm watch. Gonna take my shot. Watch. There's still one question. Oh, watch. Watch. Where did it go? You motherfucker. Here you go. Fuck, stop doing it, Heidi. <laughs> You're a plug puller. Oh. I missed. You uh, know what? She's my favorite singer. <laughs> she's your only singer. Yeah, <laughs> you know. could sing. I would not be here. Anyways, wait. what's the last question? And let's take a shot first. Oh, what do you there's, say, one guys? there's one more question. Oh, no. wait, Get wait, home wait, safe wait, shot. Wait. wait, back up. Hey, secret handshake. No. We're no, gonna, hold on. Do this okay. Right your lips. Do the shot. Hey. Cheers, everyone. We're about to go play some songs. We hope you like them. Here's to you, the fans. Oh, hey, oh, we're not here for us. Both of you. We're not here for us. You're not here for us. We're here I mean, I'm here for me, but you know. No, but they're not here for us. We're here for them. Right? No, I kind of want to try to try to try to try to try to his ass. <laughs> do it. No. Do it. Yeah, no. no. Let's do it. No. We're, we're still, in, we're still in COVID times here. I'm, I'm going to yeah, draw the line just, somewhere. Yeah, just in case. But. Feel better? I do. Cool. Last question. Uh-huh. 46 minutes in. <laughs> We're doing good. Yes. Um, if you could talk to you. This is a good question. If you could talk to you when you first started music. Uh, let me back up. Sorry. Music or the let's band? Say, let's say you've done a show. Uh-huh. There's a new musician. We're talking to new musicians here. And they come up and say, how do I be like you? What would you say? What was one piece of advice you wish someone had given you when you were starting music? music? Just fucking do it. Just stop giving a shit what people think. Mm -hmm. Stop caring about anything else other than what you want to do. The person you see yourself being in five years from now, be that person right now. You need to have confidence. You need to step out of your comfort zone. Like you said, this is extremely scary. And the only reason I'm less scared now is because I've been scared the entire time, but it's working. Everything I'm doing is working. Everything the boys, me and Ryan, really? we practice. No so we practice. Me and the boys practice four days a week. We have never stopped. We have never stopped. Just yeah. stop. Just just do it. Don't just post on your Facebook that you need. Hey, who wants to jam? Post on Facebook about it. Like just make the steps. Who gives a fuck? Keep going when, I know when people do not hit look, you up to jam. You're like, making great points. A lot of times people wonder, like, about this. Like, make those moves, do those things. Like, what really is the first step? And I hear, I hear you on a lot of those. And if you have things in you and you don't know how to say them, I got to tell you, what Heidi does, what I do, that really in the long run turns out to be music, is you have to write it down. And you have to do it. It can't be an idea that you just cook in your head. You have to put Commit it down. Commit yourself. You have, to, and you have to text it to yourself. Write it down. Be about Whether it's it. dumb, just start. But just start. That's, that's your step one. Just vent. Just write it down. Everything else you work on later, whether you want it to rhyme, we right. want to turn it to music, and but you need to put it down. Other, We all swim in our heads all the time. Evil thoughts, awesome thoughts, sexual thoughts, we all swim <laughs> around all the time. I, and I, but when you write it down, that's when we turn it into magic. I totally agree, and I think what Duff David Grohl is saying <laughs> is that... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Seriously, new musicians, yes, or the English version. Hey, uh, new musicians, you're gonna suck at the beginning. It's gonna be awful. David Grohl said, you know, "That's what how many Nirvana started. You're going to suck." And the point is, find the fun, 
have the fun. Don't give up. But don't settle and don't give up. And you're never going to be satisfied with it, like 100%. You're never, you're that, never yeah. going to be like, oh, wow, you I won't. nailed that. Yeah. That was you know perfect. What? We don't. That's there's, true. There's I didn't even think about that. We Ryan, don't. I've, I've talked to Ryan <sighs> on the way call. home and just been like, you you're know, right. how was the show? What a great <laughs> show. And it's like, I feel extremely empty. <laughs> And it's like, I just played this fucking awesome show and it felt great. Why do you feel empty? Yep. Because it's like you, it, it's extremely hard wow. to do this. And once you just accept that everything you do, once you do it, you're going to go, that wasn't the level that I wanted it to be. That's yeah, never going to change. Maybe Every you have a dream right now. And no matter what that dream is, even if it came true. You would not stop dreaming. Mm -hmm. Right. There's nights I listen to our practices and I'm like, oh my God, we killed that. And then the next morning on the bus on the way to work, I go, I'm going to hear that again. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, why does this sound like clown shoes right now? Yeah. Like, why Why was this so tight last night and not at all today? Oh, you want to make yourself depressed? <laughs> we just Let's, did that. You want to make yourself day. depressed? Record something, then listen to it in your car. <laughs> That's what we do, but we just usually do, enjoy we it. that. <laughs> then listen to it like on your phone and then yeah then listen to it through a bluetooth speaker and none of them are at all like what you thought it sounded like when you were well doing i it. can't wait to listen to that so later. as as an, uh, yes very good you're good, good job, boy, yes. so anyways honestly new musician any musician if you're hearing are this, we the so worst band you've ever interviewed oh no so anyway we're the worst band i'm wrapping up here Did you yeah hear let's voice? wrap up oh, I said, oh, no. no oh no don't wrap no, it up no. We're the worst man ever. No, Can no. I apologize. I'm so sorry. It's okay, buddy. You're wearing We're my shirt. We're the drunkest I'm... worst man ever. Trust me, you're not. So anyway. <laughs> the cheeks. The uh, cheeks. Okay, uh, let's wrap this up because I want to smoke a cigarette and get drunk at band practice because so we good. do so, have to go. Oh, shit. Band practice. <laughs> so stepdad. Right. Real quick. Not stepdad. Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Big freaking difference. If you were the, if you were the worst band he's ever interviewed, he'd been gone two hours ago. Yeah, you know what that means. We're the best band. Ever. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so, so okay. So okay, wrap real quick, up. wrapping up. No, not wrapping up. We're the best oh my God, band. Are ruining the interview? You're just, you're just, they're, not, they're not rappers. You can't rap them. Oh, nice. yes, we are. Don't get us okay. started. No, oh. go ahead. Quite, quite seriously. No, nope. yeah. I'm seriously. 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 I'm listening. No, yes. no, no. New can't. musicians or musicians. If it sounds like we're being do a little you, negative about that. 69 hours? There no. is a positive. Number 69 two. 69 hours, Heidi. Okay. I'm Seriously, listening. Come on, it's all right. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Musicians. Mm -hmm. If it sounds like we're being a little negative about things, we're not really. We're just trying to give you like the real shit because there's, there's highs, but there's also lows. And you got to go into it realizing there's a business side and there's a fun side. And if you're lucky, you get to do both. But in the meantime, stick around. We're going to see them perform some music upstairs in room six. Really appreciate you hanging out. Um, yeah, so temporarily say goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. And Josh and room six, thank you so much for having us. No worries. And thank you so much for having us. And you look great in those shirts, by the way. Thanks. Thanks. You cut room them six. and did them yourself. We didn't do anything. If you like, if yeah. you like the number six, like this video. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Bye guys. Rooms. We'll see you upstairs. I'm Heidi from the Cheeks. This is Ryan from the Cheeks. We're we are sing... four tenths of the Cheeks. Yep. We're here to uh, sing some songs for you guys. You and, like the four uh, tenths? I don't. <laughs> this song is called uh, Swallow. Uh, and I'm not kidding. Usually when I say this, I'm kidding. But we've never played this acoustic. Yeah, ever. We were going to do an electric and fuck it. Yeah. All, now all, we're here, baby. So. Only eight twentieths of the band showed up, so here we go. Here we go. Swallow, baby. Baby, two, three. Fuck, fuck me. me. Oh yeah, says who? Says a thousand fucking people who be jazz on my band. Says a thousand thirsty boys on my Instagram. They say they wanna be my cookie monster. I got here from the top of my hand. They see you up, they want to I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to fight with my band.
What's up, bitch? Hey! Somebody get me!
just a temporary feeling But the layers so healing stopping by it was a great interview and a great performance if you want to know more about them click the link in the description uh if you want to help out the channel there's a link down there too for all the social media stuff um and oh yeah remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time in room six bye love it